Let's get a little closer view here on this. Uh What's up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I'm back for another Shrip'em. Who doesn't love a good Shrip'em? If this is your first time here and you like what you see, please take the time to hit that subscription button down there and hit that little ding dong bell. It really helps me out. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you for your continued support. In this box, we have the potential of getting a secret rare, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, or there are four special rares. There is an Ultra Instinct Sign Son Goku, which is one of our favorite cards in the game. There is a Hyper Rush SSB Vegito, which is also a beautiful looking card. A Explosive Power Kid Goku and Foo Shrouded in Mystery, which is one of the best cards in the game. Let's just see that shiny Shrip'em goodness. Sh it's a sh 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 Shrip'em. All right, so we got this beautiful box here. This is Cross World Set Through a Dragon's Knife. Um, this is when the Overrun block started. And the Overrun block only lasted for set three and set four. Set five, they switched to Shenron's Wishes. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, double Mira. <laughs> Bar one, two, three, four, five, six pack. This will be our blessing the pack. If you would be so kind as to take our blessings and receive the blessing for your lesson, this pack shall be the ultimate of the box for our trip. And here we have a, ooh, this is a super rare boo. Great art, hey, look at the shine on that. Oh, nice. Shrip them. So every one of these packs has a rare. You're gonna get something shiny in every single one of these packs. Dragon Ball Super card game. Always something shiny in the pack, and it's always at the back of the pack. There's our young Goku looking shiny, and no parallel foil in that one. And for our next uh, shrip em here, this looks like it's gonna be a foil leader. And it is, yes, foil pan. Yo, pan. Yo, Gohan's daughter being very strong, super, super useful leader. This leader saw a lot of play. Uh, not as much anymore these days. And we got a parallel foil leader, Trunks. Wow, a double shiny leader. Huh? Not so bad, not so bad. There's only a few ways to find out. Shiny, oh yeah, Bad Rock. There are no bad, Bad Rock, Bard Rock cards in this game. Look at that Bad Rock, Goku's dad looking bad. Hey, bad dad, what's going on here with that special blast? Looks like a foil leader back there, and it is, yes, Bad Rock. Another Bad Rock. Look at all these Bad Rocks. Look how good that foiling looks. It's just so. <sighs> Parallel foil. Yeah, we got a handy Giru. This is a super combo. This ca card's actually really good. The search for the super combo. Crack him. Rip him. Rip him. What's back here? Something shiny. Ooh, yeah. SR, Android 13. Serious, serious hand control. <sighs> oh, nice. No parallel foil there. And we're about halfway through our strippings here. All right, yo. Finishing spirit bomb, Sun Goku. Mina, ora ni genki o wakate kure. I think that's what he says there. And we got a parallel foil, Planet Vegeta. Yo, this card's great. Let's you just grab a sand from your deck. One energy field card. Very, very excellent. And what? is next in the triple oh yo sbr yo yo sha yes hyper rush ssb vegeto look at that card oh my god though wow look at that shiny it's so shiny let's get a little closer view here on this uh Oh, wow, that is a good looking SPR. Uh, the gold foil is stamped perfectly. Based on, the, based on this detailed inspection of the card, based on this more detailed inspection of the card, uh, yeah, I think this is grade worthy. Let's take a look at the back. Any, any defects on the back? No whitening. Yeah, this is really excellent condition. Okay, nice, fresh, crisp, clean sleeve. Put that card in a soft sleeve there. And then, so we'll get that in a semi-rigid sleeve there. 
It is a gorgeous looking card. Really nice. All right, so that's a fire pull. We just pulled some hook gash. The SSB Vegito. Definitely going out for a grade. I think it'll get a good grade too. Oh, another Bad Rock. Yo, this is like the Bad Rock box. Yo, look how shiny that is. That looks so good. You know, this card has really good skills, but it's not that playable. But I imagine that there will be some way to play this card sooner. Another shiny Bad Rock. Very nice, very nice. Trip them here. All right, a foil ape. Look at that anger. Somebody might have just stepped on his toe. Ouch. Shrip him. The rare is a mouse. Suit. And oh, unending awakening. Yo, this negate is sick. This is such a good negate, especially now for red. It's basically negates and gives your leader 5k for the turn. For one energy, for one red, for one red, for one red energy. That is a really, really good card. For one red energy, fire pull. All right. What is in here? Oh, another SR Rildo, Meta Rildo, form perfected. Somebody get this man some clothes. And our next rip them here this looks like a foil leader and it is a yes a foil ssb vegeto so we got the foil ssb vegeto and we got the spr ssb vegeto yeah look at those boys just getting in there yo vegeto yosha 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 that's basically how that story goes a shrimp on what do we have here? It is a, oh, rare Majin Vegeta. Look at that, so angry. Such extreme anger, this is the end. I give my son a hug and then I make myself explode. Looks like we got another foil leader here. We're pulling a lot of foil leaders in this. Oh, yo, foil Majin Buu. The art on these cards is just so dang good. Let's strip on the pack and strip them. What do we got in here? It is a, oh, yo, I we got some of the best looking rares in this set. They look so good. Beautiful Dragon Ball cards. Shrim. And we got a, oh, an SR Mira, Dimension Breaker Mira. Another amazing looking card. These cards just look, it's the best. As we have learned, our bless in the pack is always the most uh, specially pack of our whole box. Even if we don't pull hot cash from it, it doesn't matter. It's the bless in the pack. So let's get into this blessing. Thank you for your blessings and the shrimp em shall be real. And we got a, oh, yo, look at this thick Majin Buu. Majin Buu, who? Power absorbing Majin Buu. I will turn you into a candy and eat you as a snack. Obviously, we would have loved to pull an SCR, but I kind of like this a lot. So this was definitely a really hot pull. Uh, thank you guys for coming and watching. I really appreciate your support. If this is your first time here and you had a great time watching the shrimp, em, please take the time to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you take the time to share this with your friends, brother, Bunkle, and I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. So there's a lot of talk out there about, should I use a manual toothbrush or a power toothbrush? Which one's better? So they did a study that looked at the efficacy of manual versus powered toothbrushes. Guess which one was more effective? They were the same. The difference comes in an operator error. So the correct method of operating manual toothbrush is called the modified bass technique. You may have never heard of it. I didn't hear of it until I was in dental school, but I have heard of it now and I know what it is and I know that I can't do it very well because I test myself every time I go on vacation. You make very small circles of the gum line and you brush your teeth down and out towards the crown tip or up and out towards the crown tip if you're on the lower. That's the modified bass technique. With a powered toothbrush, you just hold it and move it tooth to tooth slowly and the movement of the bristles is what does all the cleaning. So manual and powered toothbrushes are as equally effective. However, it is much easier to operate a power toothbrush. Powered toothbrush does more work for you. I highly recommend the Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean. Thanks for coming to watch my show, guys. I hope to see you next time. This has been Joku DMD and I am outro. Based on this more detailed inspection of the card,